Welcome back, kings and queens, to another episode of Throne Fun with me, Dr. Munchkin. So, last time we were here at Morwig, and we have been working to complete all the challenges. We have one remaining, and then we'll move on to the next level, which is Theater Fort. Now, there was an update that kind of rebalanced some of the bosses, especially on the final level. We haven't gotten there yet, but uh, we're going to go into here. And so last time, I've kind of preset this up. Um, we completed the No Units Pack, which is not a No Units Pack anymore. You do get units, they're just very expensive. Um... But uh, this time, we have to do the Falcon God, the Wasp God, as well as the Challenge of the Afterlife, where humanoid enemies can respawn as ghosts. Now, in order to have success, we've decided to go with um, melee damage increased for us. We're going to have magic armor. Harbors are going to be better. We're going to do faster research so we can get all that research done, and it is a little bit cheaper. And then our melee units, although twice as expensive, they're going to deal even more damage and have more health. This is a very powerful kind of setup, except we are going for this. So as we're getting into this, as always, if you guys like this content, please make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And with that, let's build a castle. And so the name of the game is we want to get these shrines online. And then we're also going to spend here and I'm going to get magic armor. So I get more health and melee damage. They take one damage, but the goal is these guys, there's a lot more of them. I want to pull them into kind of where I'm standing. And I've thought about this before um, because there's so many of them for this time. I might be able to activate both of these shrines, which would be ideal. Which seems it may work. You gotta remember these guys are ranged and that magic armor really helps pay off. Come on, a couple more. And boom, that is done. Okay, so we are... We do have some people. Now, I do need to activate this shrine. So we'll go ahead and do this. And then I will go ahead and activate some units as well. We'll get some berserkers online. Next wave, I want to go ahead and get the research going, as well as get my harbor kicking. Now, this is a nice early game, though, for... Uh, uh, economy, because these provide economy. Now, you guys, I kind of want to over here a little bit. Reason being is we need to activate the shrine, so I need them kind of close. But now we can go ahead and attack. Alright, it's activated. Hopefully, we survive the night why we bought the melee troops that we did. And we did survive. Perfect. Okay. So that gets us a little bit. We're going to have two things up top. Again, I need to get this online. This online for more melee damage. We're going to get this online up here for also more melee damage because I want to be able to hit like a monster. And then I definitely need to get that online. So I have two left that doesn't really buy me much of anything other than a house. So we'll get some houses online, we'll bring our troops over here, like that, and then we will go ahead and start the night. So what we need, unfortunately there are two of these things, um, we need to uh, <laughs> activate this shrine. Now one of them should suffice, and I can kind of pin them in here. They do help. You can see their health is going down, and once one of them dies, obviously, we will have the ability to uh, we will get this activated. But I do need the troops to kind of help me with it. Which they are respawning. You can see them down below. No, 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 no. We can try to push them back a little bit. I do need them up here. Hopefully that is okay. Looks like it will be. Now I do have some healing properties because of said mace. There we go. We at least got it activated. We didn't lose the castle. Solid. Now we got spiders. Spiders, not great. 
We're gonna go ahead and build some walls down here. The reason is we want to funnel them up through here so we can also activate the shrine. You know, it's like a shrine build, but it's not a shrine build, right? Um, I have 11, we can go ahead and get that online so we can get a little bit more economy. And then we may, are there any more down here? No, there's a mine there, but I think that's level three. And then the mine up top here, is that a, I could buy that one. Um, it may not be ideal for us. Now, the thing is, they're faster. They're still faster, but this is now should be done because it's only the first three nights. I am going to build two towers in here just to support our needs. Now, for troopage, we kind of want them here like this. And we just want to grab everyone around here. We want this tower to be activated. Having him get by is not the end of the world. But now you see, tower's activated, we're doing good damage. Again, the little ones, the shrines will take care of them, especially the towers. Even these big ones I'm not terribly concerned about. It's just that they are really, really freaking fast. And that's also we want to build this wall here to kind of extend. They have to go the entire pathway, um, and we can build towers along the route to take care of them. Now, the one down here is going to be a little bit more challenging to try to get to, especially with the ghosts, but we do want to, there's some siege men that come in, and we want to try to get them um, to come through there. Now, this is a big wave coming in here, so we are going to kind of start to set up a little bit, get some archers online, like so. Pop you guys right there. And then I am... We're going to do it early, but we're going to do this, and that allows me to do massive damage to them. Which will be good. Now these guys are going to want to go around, hopefully. You guys come here, and I only have one thing, so we're just going to do that. You can see how much damage we're just chunking off of these guys. I can activate my shield. I think, it, I think if I get between my units and them... It does good damage. But we do have a chance, because these guys are humanoid, as you see here, they turned into ghosts. Which is uh, not ideal. My other troops do come back. I would like a mage as well, just to keep those guys aligned. Those ghosts are, they be tough. All right, so now we got this wave. This is where we want to try to get this online, All right? It's not going to be perfect, but it's not going to be hideous. Um, now we are level three, so we can do some things like down here. We can spend a little here to get some of that money. We can upgrade our harbor, which I know it costs 10, but it is worth it. Like so, we are going to spend some money over here Go for the flail guys on that one. And then we'll buy these archers up here. We'll go ahead and do crossbowmen once again. I know that the siege guys are good, but you know, you never know. Um, go ahead and set you guys down there. And we only have enough just to buy a house, so we'll go ahead and buy a house. And that should be all she wrote. Now, I'm going to be down here, obviously, to try to assist. They don't want to hurt me. It's the siege guys, but they should be fine with all those towers, as well as um, shrines. But these are the guys that I want to come. Didn't get it activated, we get close though. And although they destroyed my one building up there, it's not the end of the world, they're not gonna get through the rest of these things. Especially if I come in and I chunk tons of their health. All right, so that shrine is almost ready. We are getting more things online. Now they will have to travel a farther path, especially if I build that. But we are getting the gold coming in, which is excellent. 
And to that end, we should probably upgrade these towers a little bit, like so. Now this one I want to be a sniper tower because it kind of sees a large range of things. And we can actually just make it a super sniper for now. Now I have, oh no, I needed to do research. Luckily we have just enough to do that so we can upgrade ourselves. Next time we're gonna focus on getting that one. We are at seven, so we do, we are running out of time, let's say, um, but chunk and chunk and chunk. Chunk both of those guys. We're gonna lose the building, that's not the end of the world. But now all my troops should be coming in here. We might even lose this building again. This is now active, it's now shooting them. We can kind of freeze them up a little bit. Get them stuck. They're so large. Um, I forgot about my troops down here that I had on the shelf. It'll be okay. Now we have 100 ghosts. This is going to be a tougher wave. Um, we need to get this activated though. So I am going to do the melee damage and then we'll see how things are at the end. Now for hero, I am going to actually go ahead and get at least a single healer and upgrade him a little bit. And here, um, we will go ahead and build this guy as well. Just go ahead and do a standard tower there. I am going to do a bunker tower here because we do want to build this wall. Um, we can go ahead and build that now so as it gets faster and faster throughout the course of firing it'll get better and better. And then obviously we want our entire armada there but let's go ahead and put you guys here. You guys are going to go back behind this wall and same with you. These ghosts are ghosts. They should not respawn as more ghosts. I would hope not. They are faster, which is slightly annoying, but we can see if we just go away from the walls. They're cleaning up nicely though. And once they get into like the inner sanctum over here, these shrines should do a little list of them. This is a tough wave, mind you. It's not. This is kind of the first DPS check, I want to say, of this particular map. It's just like, oh, you have 100 enemies. Go have fun with that. This should be shooting faster and faster and faster. We'll just make sure we hit everyone at least once. And that should wrap this up. Unfortunately, I can't get down to there to activate that one, but we should be having a wave come in. Big flying wave. Also, these guys should try to populate up forward. This is where we're going to start building up our walls. So they're a bit stronger. We are going to add in kind of a super tower here. Maybe not. Let's double check the research. Research be done. I need three knights. Nine, ten, and eleven. Ooh, we just barely have enough. So I'm going to do even more damage. <laughs> um, that'll be fun. Now, 10, 11, 12. We need to do that the next three nights in order to get um, Super Shrines online, which is fine. Let's go ahead and activate this like that. And then I will go ahead and take these guys and encamp them here. I do need more troops, but the idea is we get this guy activated. Uh, why aren't you, why are you ignoring me? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we got it activated. That's the only thing I really wanted. So now we can just try to wipe these guys out. We have some stuff going on up there. It's fine, but the shrine is active. Those guys are 
fine, that's fine. If I get you guys closer over here, do you guys... Well, one, that's starting to shoot down, which is good. Will the shrine shoot down? Well, I think it's, I think that answered my question over here. All right, that spider's going to be dead, and this guy is taken out. All right, perfect. That's another big wave out of the way. Tons of money. We need to get this research online. I think what we will do is. We'll do range damage this time. 10, 11, ah, oh, that might not finish. Um, I might've been a fool. That's fine, I, I can be a fool, normally a fool. Um, we are gonna get more troops though. Since I am pretty strong as well. Now these guys only require eight. I'll go get the other ones. So we're gonna get a pretty big army. Um, oh, nope, nope, nope. Harbor's upgraded, everything's good. So we're gonna just take three. Put you guys right up here on this hill. Come over here, I'm gonna grab two. Put you guys down here and then grab four and put you guys in the mix. All right, start the night. This should be easy. Especially with my strength. I'm faster, but we just murder. Ghost man. Which is not that bad. Especially because the archers are going to take care of it. And then the other thing that's going to occur is they're going to run into my shrines and the other things that are available that will further uh, hurt them. Gosh, look at, did you see the snipe? This is why we built this. We should, boom. All right, so we cleaned that up easily. They didn't even get into the inner sanctum. This is where they can get into the inner sanctum, um, just because they're gonna be traveling up and around. This is where we wanna upgrade this guy. Uh, definitely have a level two there. Uh, these guys we can upgrade as well. I think you are maxed out, aren't you? Ooh, no! We forgot to buy this. Um, we'll go ahead and buy the Icy Rain. That's maxed out, that's good. And I can go ahead and warp between these. Oh, I don't know why. When I found that out, it was like, amazing! Um, oh no, it should be one day faster. We should be good on, on those range guys. But we'll go ahead and get some more range here, like so. And then we'll go ahead and do this. Get a little bit of that going. Go ahead and grab the entire army and place them there. Um, you guys are going to sit back here like this. And then we'll go ahead and put you there as well. Most of them are going to try to come around. Well, the things are at least. Uh, and then these ghosts are going to try to come up through here, which is why I'm building all the kind of this defense back here. Uh, what else do we want? Can't upgrade that. Just maybe go ahead and build that, and then two houses, I'd say. They won't pay for themselves, that's fine, right? Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and build this tower, just for some extra safety. So this guy should, should head up. I really don't want to solo you. Doing damage to him, don't get me wrong, especially if I push him over here. You can see how strong the, this build is, though, for kind of like your survival. You're just a tank. I 
and then the ice storm is open. The reason we wanted though to spend on the ice storm this wave and the last wave is so that on the final wave you activate the shrine ability. We're still going to activate it, it's just not going to be as nearly as powerful. Someone's getting stuck up here. are starting to come in. This is where now where we're starting to do actual damage to these things. It's only 20 of this guy. Not that bad. Alright, I'm gonna leave. Because I can come up here. Does this be where everything is? Should survive. Should. This shrine's getting a little feisty as well. Alright, we survived. Did the research finish? It did! So we got all the research that we needed. Um, I have tons of money. Obviously we want to go over here and we want to upgrade this. Now we're going to upgrade this to this one. Now you would get 300 attack damage and range. It costs 25 for the final, but you can see how much money we have. That would have not have been a problem. Um, go ahead and just do this. Super tower there. Super tower there. We'll go ahead and just do this one as well. Like so, especially because we got these guys upgraded. We're gonna grab the entire army, plop them down here. Pretty sure that I can't buy any more troops, really. We have all the shrines already done. He can just walk through walls. That's a lot of towers and things. You know, we'll just go ahead and buy another one. Another healer? Why not? And then, sure, we'll just buy that. And a house. We'll buy a house just for completeness. You know, why not? Why not? So we have, if I plop this here, we have all these towers that are going to shoot this guy. We upgraded damage from towers and our range guys. These guys are super strong too. We've been spending just like crazy to upgrade them as well as myself. I should be hitting like a monster, especially that 25% chunk that we're going to knock off this guy. Um, but yeah. Let's go ahead and try this, get it over with. And there's the big chunk, and there's another massive chunk. So this is where the healers are really starting to become effective. And you should be, you just see the damage that's going on here. Supposed to be popping up ghosts like that, but they're not that crazy. He is just looking at what the heck? Oh, he's faster. I forgot it affects the boss. Oh my god, we're still gonna win, but he's getting really far. This is insane. And that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Oh no, there, sorry. There was there was a ghost left. He spawned. That's perfectly fine. Alright, yeah, these guys don't give any gold this turn, but that's fine, it was the last turn. That's kind of why I kind of like this shrine thing. Gold, check, mutator bonus, amazing, no restarts, even more amazing. 13,709 points, back to the main map. Look at that, we have completed all of the quests on Morweg. Love it. So next time, we're going to go ahead and head into uh, Theater Fort. I don't know how you say that one. That's perfectly fine. Now, ideally, we want to just achieve victory, but we may. We might try to go for an A and a B situation here. Um, I haven't played this map. I don't know what is to come or how it's going to look. 
uh, I actually haven't even seen anyone play this map because I tried to keep things fresh for myself and not spoil things to come. But if we use the battle axe on that, that is satisfying. B, and we will go ahead and set some stuff up. I don't know about troopage, so we might just kind of focus on ourselves for now. But we do have a high score, this particular one, where we need to get 20,000. Now that's going to be one of the last ones we do, and we might try to swing it with this guy, which is half your building upgrades are unavailable. Oh, but you get 10% more score. Okay. Maybe if we have to do this anyway, so I have to do these three. If I do the crazy build, and I, I think, yes, we have to beat it and we get a new weapon. I don't know what that is. It could be really powerful. But if we're able to just build a tank build, we'll have to see what's available. We could do this where, um, oh, what is it? Ally units no longer revived at night. That's a problem. Uh, we could do a no units pack potentially. We'll have to figure it out, but that's 40. If I just do those three, it's 139. We have to see how much score is available and how many knights there are. But again, that's going to be next time. So I appreciate you all of you watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you next time. Dr. Munchkin signing out.